Today's gospel is Jesus' famous parable about the 11th hour workers who were paid an equal amount to those who had been working under the scorching sun all day in an ancient Near Eastern vineyard. It's a tough story. It seems so unjust. The first hour workers complained directly to the landowner. Why have you made these who showed up at only five o'clock equal to us who have borne the hard labor and the scorching heat of the day? And these are questions we often ask in our contemporary context. We look at people who seem to be getting away with lots of stuff, following their own path, living at the expense of others, and getting off scot-free. And perhaps we even envy them. We certainly see them as people who are getting something for nothing. But I think we're forgetting a key fact. All of us, whether in this life or the next, must somehow, some way, and at some time, have a reckoning moment where everything we have thought, said, and done, with all of its consequences and its full import, comes back to us, and we have to answer for all of it. God has made us this way. There is no other way forward. And so what seems to be the harder pathway, the pathway that the church has always encouraged, of daily practices, of self-examination, repentance, and course correction, is actually the easiest path. It's the path that constantly keeps us closest to the mark. There is no such thing as getting away with murder. The people who think they've gotten away with it really haven't. Eventually, that reckoning is going to come, and it's going to be far harder than it would have been if it was the slow and steady path that can so often seem like hard work. So let us remember two things. One, that the slow and steady path is actually God's gift to us, and we are happiest and most satisfied when we stay on it. And secondly, let us be careful not to envy or judge those who have strayed off of it. What they are likely to face at some point is far harder. And so while nothing is excusable, perhaps a little bit of compassion and understanding is due.